Liam, you are a legend. Absolutely, those are important tracks for us to see. Beautiful. Fresh and shining in the morning light. Oh. <laughs> Fresh and shining, in theory, depending upon the angle that you get them at. Very well spotted on VM's part. Look at that. Pug marks. A leopard walked here. A female leopard, judging by the size of it. And we'll hop out and just have a quick look. <laughs> I managed to wrap myself up in my scarf and my earpiece and all kinds of things. Let me just double check that this is in fact a female, but it is a female. <laughs> Walking relatively fast. So here's the front foot. These are the toes of this leopard. And it's a much the front track is a much rounder shape, much larger than the back track, which is slightly more extended. Now leopards at a slow normal walking speed, the back foot will fall where the front foot was. It means they're quieter. So they've got less chance of disturbing the soil when they step. In this case, the back track falls roughly an inch away from the front track, which means this leopard was walking relatively quickly. Now the question that I have for all of you, and myself of course, which leopard? It's a female. <coughs> My guess would be Shadow, but it's a difficult one. We are right on the boundary, right between the territories of two different female leopards. I'm guessing Shadow because this is Hoffman's. This on my on my left is Hoffman's. On my right is the western or close to the western edge of Juma, which immediately tells us that it's probably Shadow. Tiny little tracks, but again, Shadow is Karula's daughter, so their tracks are roughly equal size. They've got that same genetic structure. Very tiny leopards. Sorry. I'm untangling myself from 